Hi, I'm Dr. Sai Praveen Harnath from Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad, and I'm here to tell you five reasons why you should enroll in this critical care course. Let's take an abbreviation, and the abbreviation is CARES, C-A-R-E-S. C is because you care. A, because you need to give access. R, remuneration. E, for education. And S, for service. What do I mean by all this? This critical care course designed by us is to help you give the care that is required to critically ill people everywhere. Once you are trained, you're going to give access to critical care to people who don't have it right now. You might be in a rural area, you might be far away, you may be away from a metro city. It might take many hours for patients to be transported to a tertiary care center. But if there is a critical care doctor with critical care training in your own town, you can actually deliver that service. Remuneration, your remuneration as a doctor will increase once you go through this course because critical care skills require training, constant updating and constant education. In addition to that, you need to do several procedures which will add to your remuneration. This is evidence-based education. The course has been designed with the most modern technology as well as the delivery mechanism is such that you will actually enjoy going through this. It is very practical as well as a method where you're interacting with the team you will also be thinking about the cases and they're all designed to make sure that the principles of critical care are incorporated. You are doing a service for your community by actually going through this course because if you have the skills to actually train yourself as a critical care specialist, you can make a difference. So simply saying, take this course because everyone cares. And critical care is not that complicated if you can go to basic principles, understand the physiology, work through the pathology, and then deliver the care. Now the course has several parts to it. One part of it is cognitive, meaning you're learning the knowledge that you need to apply to a patient at the bedside. You're also going to be learning some practical skills through video demonstrations and discussion as well as understanding the basis and the evidence that makes these procedures necessary and how to do it in a safe way. You will also have several exercises to learn to apply what you've already been taught. There will be many cases we will go through and it'll be an engaging, interesting way to learn about these different aspects of critical care. There will be questions and answers. You will also be looking at videos which describe several situations and there will be didactic education, but a lot of it is going to be interactive and this course will actually teach you how to practice critical care in a safe and effective way. You will also be learning some skills which are probably better done in, by hands-on service. But once you know how to do it, you can actually learn it much faster when you do it in a practical way, perhaps in a simulation lab or in a real person. Thank you.